Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Nicole and today we are here for the A to Z quilt block challenge. Today we are making the monkey wrench block. So let's get started. <laughs> Alright, so as I said in the intro, we are here to make the monkey wrench block. This is what the um, 9 inch looks like. It's a cute little block and it has that sort of movement to it. So there are a few things that you're going to need today before you can get started. You're going to need your downloadable um, pattern. Now this will just open up in a Google Doc and you can print it off or you can read it on your tablet or phone. Now you'll notice that it is set out a little bit different than um, other blocks that we've done so far. This one actually has a layout and we have our fabrics marked with A, B, C and D. This is pretty key for this one so, so it saves a little bit of confusion and whatnot. So you can see that the um, block sort of has some movement to it and so we've got to add triangles and we need to add them in the right places so it's really good if you have um some color pencils or something like that color it in the pieces that you have um the colors that you have chosen rather and then that way you're not going to get lost i've just gone with the blue and white so i've been able to follow this one but you may be using different colors so this will really help you out make sure that you make a note of what color your fabric is for the corresponding a b c or d now you notice that i only have it at the top part because the blue fabric is cut exactly the same size as the um as the white fabric which is my background fabric okay so that's why i haven't put it down the bottom all right so basically um we have a nine inch uh cutting instructions like always and today's block is going to be 12 inches so once you've got that and you've cut all your fabrics out you're also going to need a few other things as well you're going to need a smaller ruler to square up you're also going to need a larger ruler to um cut out your squares and everything like that especially for the 12 inch not and also for the nine inch some of those larger squares you might not need a 12 and a half inch ruler but something that is bigger than um eight inches would be suffice okay um you're going to need your fabrics i'm just using two fabrics today you're going to need a rotary cutter thread snips maybe a quick unpick highly unlikely um some pins uh, you'll also need some alphabetties as well as these really help with keeping a track of your fabrics um, and if you uh, need to help your triangles through maybe a purple thing or a tailor's awl or something along those lines just to give you a little bit of a helping hand to get them through because we do not want to stretch our triangles and you'll be thinking triangles I don't see any triangles well we have some further cutting to do today so we're going to move all our general sewing supplies out of the way put our thread snips to the front of the machine possibly put your uh, tailors all there as well and as you can see I have fabric A B C and D D is our four patch so that's nice and easy we can set that off to the side but first of all we need to cut some of these fabrics so to make it super easy to remind myself I have just marked on the back of my fabric that I only have to cut corner to corner for fabric A for fabric B but on fabric C, I need to quarter cut. So I need to cut from corner to corner and then corner to corner again. Now, the reason that I do that is if I'm making a lot of blocks, that just reminds me that what I have to do, especially if I'm coming and going to the quilt. All right, so we know that fabric D is our four patch, so we can set that aside. We're going to start with um, fabric C because this is a quarter cut. And what you do to one fabric, you do to the other in fabric C. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my rotary cutter and I'm going to get my ruler. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut corner to corner on our white fabric. And we're also going to do exactly the same thing to our blue fabric in the seven and a quarter size block for the 12 inch. And this would be the five and three quarters in the nine inch okay refer to your um cutting sheet for a b c or d fabric and i'm going to cut that once lining up corner to corner 
and count that twice. So now we have four triangles in the white and we will have four triangles in the blue. You need to take two of those triangles and set them aside because we only need two of these. Okay, so take two of your triangles and set them aside and place the other two with your little alphabet on top so you know what fabric it is. We can now set fabric D down here because we know what that is. Next, we're going to take fabric B. And again, what we do to one, we do to the other. And we're just going to go corner to corner for this one. And we'll place that there. And again, we'll place our alphabet on top. Now we'll take fabric A and do exactly the same thing from one side to the other from corner to corner we're going to make one cut and then we'll take our blue fabric and do the same thing again going corner to corner okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit these fabrics back onto my board just to make it easier to work with and placing my alphabetes onto our fabric so we don't get lost where we're at okay so you can see here we have all our fabrics sorted now you can set aside your ruler and your rotary cutter for now next what we're going to do is we're going to make our four patch so to make a four patch that's very basic we've covered this in many videos before we're going to use a quarter inch seam allowance and stitch down one side making sure our fabrics are right sides together and we're going to do the same with our other two squares. Again, making sure right sides together and make sure that you keep a nice quarter inch seam allowance. I like to start with the needle in the down position and I've got my little leader cloth here that's looking very furry. And then I'm just going to place my fabric underneath and I'm going to start stitching. And then I'll take my second piece because we're going to chain stitch. Next, you're going to, you'll snip these apart. And as always with my four patches, I like to press my seams open, but this will be the only seam that we press open throughout this block. Okay. And I'm going to just put the iron onto this seam and make sure that it's nice and set. So the next step is to join these together. Laying your seams on top of one another, you want to get your fork pins. Lining up your raw edges, making sure that your seams are nested. Pop that fork pin in and then head to the sewing machine and do a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so once you have uh, st stitched that together, we're just going to take off our little furry. At this stage, I like to get rid of any long threads that I might have, and then we are going to open up our seam. Give it a little bit of a finger press, and then we'll take it to the, um, the ironing pad and give that a really good press. Okay, so we ha now have our four patch. The next thing that we need to do is we need to, and so that's D, so we can set that aside now. So you can see here, D is our four patch and it goes on point. Now we need to get fabrics B. All right, so fabric B in the blue is going to go on this side. So you can see here, just on the little diagram, so fabric B is going here and the blue square matches the blue triangle and the same down here, okay? And then the white matches that one, okay? So you're going to be doing it opposite. Next, what I like to do is I take my triangles and I gently match my points up on the long side and just give a little bit of a squeeze to create a crease then what I'm going to do because it's going on the side here I'm going to line that crease with the center of my four patch and then I'm just going to pop a straight pin in is fine and then using a quarter inch seam allowance I'm going to stitch that down and I want to make sure that all my raw edges are lining up and I'll just flip this over and you can see we've got two little uh, dog ears coming past. We want that. We want to have that there because this is going to accommodate for our 
um, quarter inch seam allowance. And to save a little bit of time, I just fold the other one and do it at the same time. So point to point on the long side, give that a little pinch and then line that crease up with the seam of the four patch. And I just use straight pins at this point because I don't have any seams that need to nest or anything like that. And again, we've got that little bit going past. Now you want to make sure that your long edge is lining up with the raw edge of your four patch. And then you're going to, with the needle in the down position, place that under the machine. And using a leader cloth is really key here. And make sure that you can, um, you can sew it through without the triangle. Uh, point going down into your machine because that can sometimes happen Okay, so we've sewn them on we've used a quarter inch and now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the uh, ironing pad and we're going to press them towards the triangle those seams now we're not pressing open we're just going to press to the dark side and in this case our triangle is acting as our dark side okay so you can see there we've got this little um, four patch with triangles on the end we need to now put our white triangles from fabric B onto the remaining side so again we're just going to pinch them in half line up our raw edges pop a pin in and do the same for the other side. Okay, so we've now got those triangles on and again, we're going to roll that seam out towards the triangle. Okay, so now we have our little square with our triangles on. Following our directions again, we now need to work with a fabric C. And so we're going to again start with our blue and do exactly the same thing that we did with fabric B. Making sure that we're, we're centering that up with the point of our four patch and making sure that our raw edges are lining up and then we'll just pop a pin in there and we'll do the same for the opposite side and then we'll head to the sewing machine and using a quarter inch seam allowance do exactly the same thing sew along and then we'll add our white ones on and again you're going to press out to the triangle Okay, so we've finished that round and you're going to press again out to the triangles and then we're going to add our final triangles on doing exactly the same thing. Okay, we're going to start with our blue fabrics and we're again, we're going to fold that in half point to point and we're going to do the opposite sides and we'll repeat that with each of our triangles all the way around and then our block will be complete.
Okay, now we're going to give that a really good press. That is the monkey wrench block and uh, make sure that you give it a really good press and set it aside with the rest of your blocks and don't forget you've also got the nine inch one as well. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you being here and taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up down below for the monkey wrench block and if you've yet to subscribe make sure you hit that subscribe button, the little bell icon beside it and then that way you're not going to miss out on any future posts and if you're looking for something more from Devana Lee Designs check out our Patreon page. There's a lot of information there on the different things that we offer and you'll find that on the end cards. But that is it for me today. Have a wonderful day everybody. I hope that you get lots of crafting in and as always I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.